For over 40 years, the Shot Tower Gallery has presented hundreds of local and national exhibitions. To celebrate its 40th anniversary, the gallery presents Inspired Reunion, an alumni exhibition. We put the exhibit up and the night of the 13th of March, we were having a, a, the opening. We had, you know, the music planned, everything planned. Unfortunately for the art students at Fort Hayes Career Center and alumni, the coronavirus prevented opening night from happening. And for the last eight months, the gallery has been closed, unable to be seen by the public. This exhibit has 18 alumni artists and they are from um, all over the world. All 18 of these artists developed their love for the arts here at Fort Hayes. Being able to spend um, half of my junior and senior year um, just making um, and learning about a process was, uh, you know, changed my life. I mean, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now uh, if it wasn't for that. Stephen Takis is a local photographer with his studio located near downtown Columbus. In the Inspired Reunion Alumni Exhibition, Takis presents the Brownie in Motion Project, a camera obscura, soft sculpture, traveling interactive art installation working camera. Of course, being a photographer, I was like, oh, I got to figure out a way to shoot with it, um, which led to this whole multi-year project. The exhibit features 74 works of art with a broad range of media showcasing oil and gouache painting, photography, installation art, and many more. I went to Fort Hayes many, many years ago. I was in the dance program, um, and dance is exactly what brought me to, um, to filmmaking. You're not invisible. I see you. I will always see you. You're a stain. A deep, dark, girl-shaped stain, and you won't ever disappear. Crystal Lake was actually um, a film that um, I made sort of in response to um, the very large um, Muslim um, population at the school where I teach, the University of Illinois at Chicago. There's like these amazing um, young feminists, all hijabi um, Muslim, uh, all sort of who grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, these kind of like radical young women. Um, and I wanted to make um, a film um, about them that was also for them. Teresa Weidenbush, the gallery director, hopes to keep the exhibition up for a little while longer with the desire of opening to the public one day. For now, if you're interested in seeing the exhibit virtually, the Fort Hayes Shot Tower Gallery is showing virtual tours. Most of these artists will say that the teachers they had here in Columbus City Schools were the reason, it's, their, it's why they're successful.